Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to generate object code and object program for the given SICXE program. This is the solved example number two. The link for first example is given in the description below. This is the program given to us. Along with this particular program, for each of these particular uh, in opcodes, we have been given uh, the numeric codes also. Considering these things, we have to calculate the object code first and then we need to convert that object code into object program here. Now, uh, we have been given all these particular things. So, first we need to calculate the location counter and then we need to calculate the object code here. After that, we will convert this object code into object program here. Now, uh, what I do is uh, we will discuss uh, first uh, how to assign the location counter for each and every instruction. So the first uh, instructions location counter is always equivalent to the value mentioned in this particular uh, uh, operand field that is uh, 405D. So 405D I will assign it for the first instruction. Now uh, if you want to calculate the location counter for the next instruction, you have to check what is the type of instruction is this, whether it is type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4. If it is 1, we have to add 1 byte. If it is 2, we have to add 2 bytes. If it is 3, we have to add 3 bytes. If it is 4 type, fourth type, we have to add 4 bytes to this one to get the location counter for the next instruction. Now, one thing you need to remember, if there is a register involved in the instruction, it is type 2. If it is a plus is written before this instruction uh, opcode, it is type uh, 4. Otherwise, it will be type 3. So, in this case, X is present. X is nothing but a, in a register. So, it is... Uh, type 2 in this case so we will add 2 to this one so this is 405d first of all 405d to this particular thing we will add 2 we will get 405f that is the location counter for next instruction this is uh, type 3 as i said earlier uh, because uh, this particular instruction uh, does not involve a register as well as there is no plus here the same thing goes with this one, same thing goes with this one, the same thing goes for all instructions uh, in this particular case. TIXR has a register, so it will be type 2 in this case. Okay, so we will start here. This is type 3, we will add 3 to this one, we will get the next value that is uh, 4062. To this one we will add 3, we will get 4065. And then the same thing goes over here, 4068, we will add 3, we will get 406B because it's a hexadecimal addition. Do this particular thing in the hexadecimal format. Now TIXR is 2 bytes, so I will add 2 to this particular thing, 406E. That is uh, 406E. To this particular thing, I will add 2 here. So I will get 4070 in this case. Now 4070, I will add 3, 4073 I will get. This R sub is type 3, I will get 4076. This is uh, again uh, type 3, so it is not type 3 actually, it is 1 byte. We are just storing 0, 05, 4 bits for this one, 4 bits for this one, it is totally 8 bits. 8 bits is nothing but 1 byte. I will add 1 to this one, I will get 4077 here. So this is the end of assigning the location counter value here. Now we will try to calculate the object code. Now the first instruction is clear x, it is of type 2. Type 2's instruction format is this one. First 8 bits are opcode, next 4 bits for register 1, next 4 bits are for register 2. So opcode uh, for this particular clear is given here B4. So I have written here B4, that is the 8 bit. The first uh, R1 is X here, the value of X is 1, so I have written 1 here. The second register is not present, so it is 0. That is B410, that is what the value I will get here. Next one is LDT length. LDT length is the third type of instruction. The format for third type is this one. The first six bytes are opcode. Six bits are opcode. N, I, X, B, P, E. N is for indirect addressing mode. I is immediate addressing mode. X is index addressing mode. B for base relative. P for program counter relative addressing mode. E is set to zero because uh, it is a type three instruction. If it is type four, we would have set it to one here. Now we need to calculate the displacement uh, if it is type 3. If it is type 4, we need to get the 20-bit address here. In all this case, so we don't have type 4 here, so there is no question of 20-bit address. We need to calculate the 12-bit address here. Now coming back to this particular LDT, the LDT is 74. We have written in the binary format here. The first 6 bits we need to consider, that is the most significant 6 bits. They are nothing but the opcode here. In this case, we don't have hash here, we don't have at. The meaning is it is neither immediate nor indirect. So we will set 11 here. 
there is no comma x the meaning is it is not index addressing mode e is set to 0 already we have to decide whether it is a base relative or program counter relative addressing mode so to decide this one we need to calculate the displacement with respect to p first that is a program counter relative addressing mode so displacement is equal to the value of length where is the value of length we don't have here but it is given to us that is 4036 4036 minus the pc value that is the address of next instruction the address of next instruction is 4062 so 4036 minus 4062 is not possible so what we do 4062 minus 4036 we do we will get 2c that is minus 2c if you see here minus 2c falls in this range it will come under this particular range the meaning is it is program counter relative addressing mode not the base relative addressing mode if this number doesn't fall in this particular range we would have considered it as a base relative not the program counter in that case now minus 2c we cannot write here so we convert this minus 2c into 2's complement format we will get fd4 that is what i have written here so fd4 is 12 bits here 4 bits 4 bits 4 bits convert this entire thing into hexadecimal number the first four bits are 0 triple 1 that is 7 next is 0 1 1 1 that is again 7 0 0 1 0 that is 2 here so 7 7 2 fd4 we will get here now coming back to the next instruction that is td uh, again it is a third format here so td is e0 e0 is hexadecimal form uh, binary format is this one most significant six bits are written in the opcode format again it is not immediate nor indirect addressing mode so 1 1 there is no comma x here the meaning is it is not index addressing mode we have to decide on this one e is set to 0 here now this one will be decided based on the displacement so displacement is equal to what is the value we have here output output is how much 4076 so 4076 minus pc value the pc value for this instruction is 4065 that is the address of the next instruction 4065 here which is equal to 11 that is a hexadecimal 11 which is present in this particular range so it is a program counter relative addressing mode not the base relative addressing mode in this case so p is 1 b is 0 this 11 we have to write 12 bits here so first four bits are zero next is one and then next is one so two, four bits four bits four bits that is zero one one here that's a 12 bit now again convert this in thing into hexadecimal by uh, grouping four four bits you will get this one e this is one 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 zero 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 one one that is uh, three zero zero one zero that is two the final is zero one one zero one one here similarly we have to go with the next one jeq that is equivalent to 30 which is already given to us the binary format is this one the most significant six bits are written here this is neither immediate nor indirect addressing mode one one no not an index addressing mode so it is zero we have to decide on this one e is equal to zero initially again displacement is equal to the value of w loop that is 4062 minus 4068 because that is the pc value you cannot do this one so 4068 minus 4062 which is equal to six but it is a minus six now minus 6 falls in this range so it's a program counter relative addressing mode not the base relative addressing mode now minus 6 cannot be written here convert this thing into 2's complement format that will become ffa that is ffa here again convert this particular thing into a uh, hexadecimal format you will get this particular number similarly we will consider the next instruction that is ldch ldch is a third instruction again ldch is equal to 50 binary format is this one most significant bits are written here six bits are written here neither immediate nor indirect but it's an index addressing mode so because we have comma x here so x is equal to one we have to decide on this one e is zero to decide on this one we will calculate the displacement that is the value of buffer is equal to 4033 minus the next address that is 406 b again we have to calculate this minus this we will get that's a hexadecimal subtraction we will get 38 that is minus 38 if you convert this uh, minus 38 falls in this range so p is 1 b is equal to 0 now uh, minus 38 cannot be written here get the two's complement you will get fc8 here so fc8 i have written here now convert this particular thing into hexadecimal number you will get something like this next one is wd output wd is uh, d, uh, the value of uh, this one is uh, dc we have uh, somewhere here this is over here uh, this is written here the most significant six bits are written here neither immediate nor indirect nor 
index addressing mode so 110 we have to decide on these two things e is equal to 0 now displacement is uh, output is equal to how much 4076 minus the next value is 406e that is equal to 8 8 falls in this range so p is equal to 1 b is equal to 0 and then 8 will be written here 008 that is 4 bits 4 bits 4 bits now convert this also into a hexadecimal number you will get df2008 here now this one is uh, type 2 because uh, t is involved here that is a type 2 instruction because type 2 the opcode that is b8 is written here the t value is equal to 5 that is written here r2 is not present so we'll write 0 here that is b850 that is the answer in this case coming back to this particular thing jlt the value of jlt is equal to 38 the most significant 6 bits are written over here neither immediate nor indirect nor index addressing mode so 110 here we have to decide on this one e is equal to 0 so displacement is equal to w loop that is 4062 minus the next instruction value is 406 now we cannot calculate this particular value directly so first we calculate 4073 minus 4062 which is equal to 11 that is uh, minus 11 in this case minus 11 falls in this particular range so it is a program counter relative addressing mode nor the base relative addressing mode again we cannot write minus 11 here so we will write the two's complement format in this case that is fef we have to calculate it now convert this also into the hexadecimal number you will get 3b2 that is this one is 30011 1011 is b 0010 is equal to 2 here and this fef is written in this case the next instruction is r sub its mnemonic code is equal to 4c here the 4c is written in this case uh, the most significant 6 bits are written over here and uh, this is neither immediate nor indirect addressing mode so we have written 1 1 here neither index nor base relative nor program counter and so type 3 we have written 0 here displacement is 0 in this case now if you convert this entire thing into hexadecimal you will get 4f0000 in this case the next one is uh, byte 05 we are trying to store the value 05 here so the object code is 05 only and this end will write the we will write the starting address of this particular program that is 405d in this case this is not an op object code but still we write it here so this is how actually we calculate the object code now given this particular object code we need to convert this thing into an uh, object program here object object program contains uh, three main things one is called as uh, the header section text section and the third one is the end section here now header section starts with h and the next uh, six columns are used to represent the name of that particular uh, program in this case wrrec uh, we will write in the first five columns sixth column is empty in this case and then uh, the next six columns are used to represent the starting address of this particular program in this case it is 405d uh, we have written 00405d because uh, we need to write this particular thing into six columns over here now coming back to the next uh, four columns the four columns are used to represent the length of this particular program the length of this particular program is 4077 minus 405d here that is equal to 001a the next section is uh, head, uh, text section text section can be one or more uh, based on the length of that particular program in this case you can notice uh, there is only one text section each and every text section contains 69 columns so the first column is uh, t the next uh, six columns are used to represent the starting address of this particular text record the next two columns are used to represent the length, length of this particular text record so there are totally nine uh, columns are there remaining 60 columns are used to represent the object code over here now if it is more than uh, 16 uh, columns over here we have to create one more text record and so on so here i have started writing all the text records here uh, they will fall into 60 columns so i have written everything here you can see here, uh, first one is b410 second one is 772fd4 and so on everything i have written here now if you go on counting the number of columns here here 4 6 10 uh, plus uh, 6 uh, 16 plus 6 22 plus 6 28 plus 6 34 plus 4 38 plus 6 uh, 44 plus 6 50 plus 252 so total number of columns are 52 
and one more very important thing is uh, two columns is equal to one byte so 52 columns is equal to so we will do one thing 52 columns are there divided by 2 so we will get how much 26 uh, bytes so 26 bytes we will convert it into hexadecimal number we will get 1a so that is what the length of this particular 1a we will write it here now the last part of this particular object program is the end record it will start with e and the length of this particular starting address of this particular program is written here that is 00450d this is the final uh, object code how it looks like for this particular object program this is how the object program look like for this particular given SSXE program